Hi, Bob Green here, volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So I am looking at the Hutchison sample fracture and uh, it's actually a lot more bizarre than I thought it was <laughs> when looking at under the optical microscope. It's like these pouches of what are essentially predominantly aluminium uh, and it has these little nipples on them uh, which you can see here like it's got some sort of cancer uh, and uh, uh, if we scroll around this, let's see if I can do this, I need to change hands. Uh, you will see that this extends quite a way. It's got a, kind of got these scre stretch marks and these uh, sort of mounds. And uh, there are some sort of, what well, is clearly detritus in some places, but in some instances it's kind of actually stuck in there um, so this goes on and on it's like a, a bunch of pillows what do you think it's looking like bizarre look at this what do you make of that now it has these uh, sort of stripes um, and uh, they are some really odd elements going on uh, well Actually, so odd, I struck it. <laughs> we'll have a look at another one of those. Find out what's going on. But over here, where is it? Over here. Look at this. It's totally bizarre. Anyway, that's a quick look at part of the Hutchison fracture sample. So the balls seem to have these kind of stretch marks between them, so I focused in on one of the stretch marks you can see here. Uh, in fact, I can zoom out of that so you can see it in context. Bearing in mind this is supposed to have started off with a single lump of uh, aluminium and what I've done here is I've gone along the uh, strand and to see what's going on and it would appear that as you go down the strand you have like carbon, oxygen, magnesium, aluminium and then carbon goes down, oxygen is about the same, magnesium is about the same but aluminium goes up and then there's a bit of iron, and then there's more iron, and then there's a little bit less iron, um, uh, but then there's silver, so that's uh, quite fascinating, and this is part of the actual structure, so we're going to have a look at a couple more of those and see if we see the same pattern. And it keeps on getting stranger, so this kind of thing looks a bit like a Spidey's put out his web, and I'm going to have a look uh, a little bit closely closer into that uh, so we're going to go in and we're going to move it around a bit and again this looks like it's got different elements in it which is quite bizarre look at that Something mighty strange. Uh, do an auto focus on this. Maybe it'll look better. Well, there we go. What are we looking at there? So this is pretty crazy actually. Uh, this strandy thing here, um, it 
uh, looks like it's uh, got kind of carbon fibers here, the white stuff, but it's actually a mix between carbon and uh, magnesium. And in fact, there is magnesium blotches all over the surface of the aluminium. Uh, very interesting, blotches, 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 fairly evenly spaced, and um, they could be the blotches we saw earlier. And if I turn on the iron here, sorry, here, you can see there's a, a block here, which is represented here, but it kind of must go behind this structure, which is over the top of it, but you can see that the iron is refracting through this. So this is like a, a clear crystal fiber, and, well, it appears to be made of carbon and uh, magnesium. So, uh, totally, totally bizarre. Well, this is also interesting on the Hutchison fracture sample. Uh, the bulk of this is aluminium, and uh, you can see uh, this is aluminium, but it, the aluminium seems to have gone away a bit, and uh, there appears to be iron, and uh, it's in this kind of crystal structure that's grown over the surface. Now, could there be some chemical that's uh, created this on the top of the aluminium? Um, possibly, um, with iron in it. Or is this some sort of transmutation? Don't know. Um, quite likely, maybe chemical. But there it is, um, growing across the surface. Yeah, we'll try and take a look around uh, and see how this kind of stuff is growing over the surface in various places. That's a dent, but this here. So we just thought that this might be a uh, chemical, possibly, a uh, deposit on here where the iron is uh, seemingly replacing the aluminium. That's the uh, iron, and that is the aluminium. And this is the sort of combination. So we're thinking that this might be maybe chemical, but if we look at another area and uh, where we see these uh, bump uh, and we see these crests of hills, um, we see these same uh, crystal kind of structures growing up the uh, crests of the hills. And lo and behold, that is iron. So could this be a classic sort of George Oshawa uh, to aluminium go to iron? Uh, I can show you the uh, iron alone there. So that is the iron position. And that is the SEM. So it would appear that maybe even it's the formation of the iron that's pulling this material in and forming uh, these pinched areas. Uh, absolutely fascinating, this Hutchison sample.